Hey everyone, it's Chris. From stranded boys lost at sea to the thousands of rubber ducks, here are 10 of the strangest things that have washed ashore after a tsunami. Number 10, football. On March 11, 2011, a giant earthquake occurred off the coast of Japan. It was the biggest earthquake ever recorded by Japanese officials, and the fourth largest ever recorded in the world. This earthquake triggered a tsunami that enveloped the country. When the so-called Great East Japan earthquake struck, the ensuing tsunami it generated left large swaths of rubble in its wake. There were many insane objects that washed ashore after this great tsunami, a few of which found a spot on our list. And they didn't wash up in Japan alone. In the ensuing months, objects swept up in the waves started appearing all over the world. How far did these objects stray from home? Well, consider the following story. More than a year after the tsunami, David and Yumi Baxter of Middleton Island in Alaska saw that a football, that is a soccer ball, had washed ashore. Given her Japanese heritage, Miss Baxter was able to translate the name and its good luck message written on the ball. This indicated to her that this football had traveled quite far. In fact, because of her hunch, she was able to trace the ball back to its original owner, Misaki Murakami, a 16-year-old whose home was lost in the tsunami. This made Misaki pretty happy, given that it's the only thing he was able to recover after the tsunami. Number 9. Motorcycle In April of 2012, Peter Mark, a British Columbian resident, saw that a shipping container had washed ashore. However, its contents shocked him. When he opened it up, he found a complete motorcycle locked inside. Understanding that this might be debris and recognizing the Japanese license plate, he traced the bike back to its rightful owner, a Japanese resident, some of whose family died during the 2011 Japanese tsunami. Yokoyama opted to exhibit his bike at the Milwaukee Harley-Davidson Museum as a tribute to those lost in the tragedy. Number 8. Blob of Yabuchi-jima Many news outlets reported this next object as washing ashore due to the 2011 Japanese tsunami, but it is actually entirely unrelated. In fact, the so-called Blob of Yabuchi-jima was discovered in 2010, but that does not make this discovery any less sensational. At the end of June 2010, fishermen from Yabuchi-jima notified a local museum curator of a strange object floating in the sea. Fishermen recovered the remains of this object during a low tide on July 4th of that year. Onlookers said that the blob was about 18 feet long and smelled terrible, and many weren't sure what the blob might be. Some thought it was a huge squid or maybe even a dugong. As it turns out, this is not an occurrence that is terribly unordinary. These globsters, as they're called, are just big clumps of organic mass that come ashore every year. And even though they may seem super strange, it happens all the time. When samples are taken, it usually turns out that they're comprised of the non-recognizable leftover blubber from whales after the rest of their matter has decomposed. So the blob was probably just a whale at one point. However, that does not make it any less odd looking. And now for number seven. But first, be sure to subscribe to World List if you haven't already. Number 7. Mussels, Clams, and Fish Oh My One of the unexpected consequences of the 2011 tsunami? Massive amounts of foreign fish washing ashore from across the ocean. From Alaska to Hawaii, close to 300 species of assorted seafarers moved from Japan to the opposite coast, riding on debris from the 2011 tsunami and washing ashore with their lives intact. Researchers reported that this is both the largest and longest migration of marine species ever recorded, and this could even be a problem in the long run. If the species that traveled from Japanese waters end up making these new waters their home, then that could spell trouble for local species who might not be able to handle the competition. It'll take a long time before scientists know for sure if this will happen, but given that more than a million creatures traveled across the sea, and that the biological profile of this migration is immense, including mussels, mollusks, crabs, and many other Japanese species, it is definitely a possibility. Number 6. Oarfish Most of the items on our list have washed up after a tsunami, but this entry often comes before one, and may even signal its arrival. All over the world, people have seen the following creatures wash ashore, and every time that it does, the rumors again begin to flow. Oarfish are long, mysterious creatures that swim some 3,300 feet below sea level. So when they appear on the shore, you have to wonder why. 
It's not hard to understand why people are so curious. Remember that 2011 earthquake? Well, just before the ensuing tsunami struck Japan, around 20 oarfish washed up on the beaches in the area. And just one day before a 6.6 magnitude earthquake in the Philippines, two 12 to 14 feet oarfish washed up on the beach. However, this beach was over 800 miles away from the center of the quake. So there is no strict correlation, but it is an evocative occurrence. People have seen oarfish before earthquake-triggered tsunamis in Chile and Haiti as well. Why do scientists think that oarfish wash ashore before quakes? Some have conjectured that deep-sea fish are more sensitive to the kinds of chemical shifts that occur in seawater when earthquakes begin. But others think that oarfish live too far away from the Earth's fault lines for this to be the correct explanation. Perhaps it is just a coincidence. But at any rate, when oarfish begin to wash ashore, people will be on their toes. Number 5. Village Sign The damage that the 2011 tsunami inflicted upon Japan was immense. Much of the Tanohata village was literally swallowed into the ocean. While most of this debris is still swimming out in the seas, this next piece of debris washed up far away from its original home. In October 2013, a 10-foot-long village sign made it to Kahaku Beach on the Oahu Island of Hawaii more than 3,500 miles away from Tanohara. The words written on the sign, Shimano Koshi Village Housing, indicate the name of the apartments from which it traveled. After translating this message and working with the Japanese consulate in Hawaii, officials were able to find out where it came from. In July of the following year, Hawaiian officials returned the sign back to Tanohara. This gesture rings true to the victims of the 2011 tsunami still coping with the tragedy, who are in the words of Tanohata's mayor slowly but surely walking on the path to recovery as a unified body. The village now has the sign to exhibit. Number 4. Boy In 2019, Hurricane Dorian ravaged through the Bahamas and all the way up through the southeastern United States and the east coast of Canada leaving great destruction in its wake. A Category 5 hurricane, it was the most powerful hurricane ever recorded in the Atlantic. So when a huge navigation buoy washed up on a Florida shore after Dorian, it came as no surprise. The buoy was found in New Smyrna Beach, and its size attracted spectators to come and see. Some said that the buoy was the size of a truck, but more than its size, what's even stranger is that this is not the first time that a buoy has become unmoored. Originating from South Carolina, this boy also broke away from Daytona Beach when Hurricane Irma struck the coast, at the time landing on Hilton Head Island. When it was found again in 2017, it was put to use off the coast of South Carolina once more. But Dorian's strength broke it from its mooring once again in 2019. No one's sure how the boy got away, but it isn't terribly shocking given Dorian's and Irma's destructive force. Number 3. 28,000 Rubber Ducks while it was traveling from Hong Kong to the United States, a shipping crate was lost at sea. But since that happened in 1992, the 28,000 rubber ducks that were contained within that shipping crate have been roaming the oceans and washing ashore ever since. Oceanic storms occasionally bring them to the beach. Some ducks have washed up in beaches as far apart as Alaska, Hawaii, Australia, South America, and Scotland. Some even make a hobby of tracking these friendly floaties. Crazily enough, these floaties helped oceanographers develop a deeper understanding of Earth's oceans. In particular, the most famous floaties circulating around the North Pacific Jair, which is a system of currents that flows between Japan, Alaska, and the Kodiak and Aleutian Islands. This Jair, as well as the world's other Jairs, are also home to great islands of trash that have flowed in from all of the other shipping containers lost at sea. Before the ducks traveled the Jair's currents, no one knew how long a trip around the circuit took, but tracking the ducks helped us to time the length of an orbit around these vortices. Crazy to think that a bunch of rubber ducks could lead to good science. Number 2. 70-Foot Dock Here's another wild castaway from Japan's 2011 tsunami. In June of 2012, onlookers at an Oregon beach spotted an entire dock floating away from the shores of Agate Beach. After a storm jostled it around, it came to shore. And it's no wonder why people came from far and wide to give it a look. The dock, made from concrete, is 66 feet long, 19 feet wide, and 7 feet high. One of the biggest objects on our list to wash ashore. One of the plaques on the dock made it clear that this nearly 70-foot-long object was ripped from a fishing dock in northern Japan. 
and in fact this is only one of the four docks that separated from the port. This is pretty shocking given that the other three have not yet been found and are still lost at sea. This discovery prompted Oregon Senator Ron Wyden to call upon the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration to search harder for debris. Big docks out in the middle of the sea could cause a lot of damage to passing ships, but until they're found, sailors will just have to be careful. Number 1. Fishing Boat There is one more striking piece of debris that washed up after the 2011 Japanese tsunami. In March 20th of 2012, over a year after the tsunami, the Royal Canadian Air Force spotted a ship floating across Canadian waters. To their astonishment, this ship was a ghost ship with no crew members on board. It turned out to be the Roya Unmaru, an old fishing ship that had been moored to prepare it for sale. When the 2011 tsunami struck the coast of Japan, Roya Unmaru became unmoored and began to float throughout the Pacific Ocean. In April, the Canadians tried to salvage Roya Unmaru, but discovered that there was no safe way to do so. The U.S. Coast Guard then declared the only way forward was to sink the ship, otherwise it could present danger to other navigators in the area. U.S. ships then shot the Roya Unmaru with cannon fire, sinking it in the Gulf of Alaska, a tragic end for a ship that had traveled so far. However, some composers have dedicated music to the ship's memory. If you're interested, you can check out Gabriel Lovell's bassoonist quartet, entitled The Curious Journey of the Roya Unmaru, which meditates upon the life and death of the ship. Thanks again for watching. Did we miss any strange things that have washed ashore? Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all our videos. See you next time.